We're taking an in-depth look at skyrocketing natural gas prices that have put communities across Missouri in financial trouble. Thanks for choosing us. I'm Lucas Geisler. And I'm Deborah Kendrick. ABC 17's Connor Hirsch joins us live in our newsroom tonight after breaking down this issue for us. And Connor, the governor says the attorney general is now involved looking into price gouging concerns. <laughs> And Deb Lucas, I reported this issue first on Tuesday when the Fulton City Council held an emergency meeting about the issue. Now today, the governor says that the state won't tolerate any potential price gouging. I don't want uh, people to be taken advantage of. More than $3 million in four days is what the city of Fulton had to pay for natural gas. That price set by wellhead operators in other parts of the country, sometimes 1900% over the normal price. Yule Lawson with Missouri Public Utility Alliance tells me. When you spend your entire budget uh, on a year in a four day span, there has to be something uh, that must be looked at. The cost forces communities like Fulton to drain its reserve funds. Now many are asking the governor for emergency aid. He said he wants the attorney general to look into the issue first. Just because we're finding a way to pay some corporation money that's making millions and millions of dollars off of a national or a natural disaster, uh, I want to make sure that's not happening. Lawson said many cities reserve funds took years to build up and while customers might not see a large jump in their bill now, they may have to put off infrastructure improvements that maintain the health of the system. These are the costs that the city bears and therefore the city then must take the citizens money, pay for that and then recoup that money from the end customer. Parson said other governors have also been talking about this multi-state issue. We do have the ability to help in some situations. I'm not sure what's gonna come down to cities and counties and when you start trying to backfill that loss, I don't know. I have been in contact with the state's attorney general office who told me that they are monitoring the situation and I did ask what that will look like and if they've received any complaints about the issue, but I have not heard back. Reporting live in the newsroom, Connor Hirsch, ABC 17 News. Connor, thank you. Nine members of both Missouri's U.S. House and Senate delegation sent a letter today to regulators asking for a review of the natural gas supply and electric issues.